Hello again, DV here. This is uh, July the 23rd, 2010. It's Friday evening. Uh, just want to make a quick little video uh, talk about the uh, suffix ism. Now, ism is a suffix on the end of words such as socialism, capitalism, communism, Catholicism, Calvinism, monotheism, go on and on and on and on. The, uh, the suffix ism uh, as defined in a dictionary, is a theory, uh, doctrine, or system. Um, any word ending in ism will have a control mechanism associated with it. Um, that's just the way it is. But it's all theory, it's all doctrine, it's all system. The folks that contrived, you know, uh, or corrupted uh, theories and doctrines or come up with a Marxism, whatever, uh, they all had an agenda. Uh, it was an agenda-driven theory that they were putting forth. Uh, that's the case with all forms of government in the world today. The... Uh, Excuse me. The isms of the world today are simply a mechanism used to control the population. Uh, uh, we're also manipulated uh, through all the, uh, the social devices um, that have been erected and uh, implemented and put in place. Uh, it's all a form of uh, social control, mind control. Uh, look, the, uh, the people that set all this up, they, they, they know uh, uh, etymology, uh, for, for instance. Um, etymology simply is the, uh, the study, the origin, uh, derivation of the meaning of words. Uh, that's something that's been out there for centuries. Um, uh, they can tell you, they, I mean the ruling class or anyone that studied this, uh, simply by talking to you, uh, if they know their stuff, uh, they know where you came from, uh, wh where you originated, where your ancestors came from. They have figured out to the pronunciation and enunciation of words, what specific clan you're from in a given part of the Ozark Mountains. Uh, they know what country you ended up coming from to get to where you are. I mean, and now we're even beyond that with this DNA uh, uh, biometrics. Uh, I mean, it's, uh, it's way beyond etymology, folks, way beyond uh, but anyway, the point is, uh, we are in a world that's totally controlled. Um, it's set up to control uh, the population. Uh, it's that simple. And incrementally, over the centuries, uh, this has been honed and honed and purified. And, you know, science, technology has came into play in the last 50 years. And uh, we're getting close to the point in time where, um, you know, they're going to want to start using the RFID chips um, like they tag cattle and livestock now. Uh, that's going to be the way it's going to be. Uh, 
if you intend to uh, continue to function in society that's uh, been erected around us. Or you could choose your own path. Uh, do one of the very hard things, and that's get out of the isms. Uh, follow the uh, Ten Commandments as set forth in the Old Testament. Um, that'll truly set you free. Uh, but like-minded folks that would be around you would also have to do the same thing in kind. Uh, otherwise, uh, freedom will fall away again and ism will take over. That's simply the way it is. Um, but yeah, uh, this was just a little video to explain how bad things have become worldwide, not just the United States. Guys, it's all over the place. Uh, everyone's living under an ism unless they happen to be one of the few that does adhere to the Ten Commandments. Um, uh, so be aware, uh, think of it on a daily or weekly basis, uh, what's going on around you, you know, ask why, why is this that way, why are they doing that, why did they say this, uh, it'll put a new perspective on things uh, for you, you can focus more clearly, more quickly on the agenda that's being pushed worldwide. You know, uh, Obama, uh, Satoru, Akhenaten, you know, <laughs> the tyrant that he is, uh, it, he's just there for a short time. Someone's going to come around and take his place. That's a sure thing. Um, but it's what's beyond him, what's beyond him, is where the power lies. And that's who propagates the isms that we live under. Uh, just be mindful of it. Pay attention to it. Use your mind. Think clearly. Uh, that's all I've got to say about it. Uh, thanks for your time. Have a good evening.